The main character of the story is Hideki Nishimura, a young man who does not hesitate to share that he is an otaku, and his classmates do not discriminate against him because of that. However, Akane hates otaku people like Hideki, and she often speaks contemptuously of him, so she is very cold towards Hideki. Hideki is currently playing a game called Legendary Age, and in the game his account name is Rujin. Hideki has teamed up with three other players, a girl who is his wife in the game named Akko, a young man who specializes in wielding great swords with the account named Schwan, and their clan leader is a the top-up magician has an account named Apricot. Although they have never met in real life, their group is very close to each other, and especially his wife Akko is always clinging to Hideki. Akko scolded Hideki for having to propose to him ten times before he agreed, and when the other two questioned why Hideki rejected Akko before, she told the two of them. His story. As it turns out, Hideki had previously proposed to an in-game cat girl named Nekohime, but she refused and let him know that in real life she was actually an uncle over 40 years old, making her for his spirit to almost completely collapse. After listening, Apricot and Schwein laughed, and Hideki also said that he will never believe in having girls play games again. However, Akko says that in real life she is a nerd girl, and more surprisingly, Apricot also introduces herself as a normal high school girl. Seeing that Hideki didn't seem to believe him, Apricot suggested that their guild hold a meeting in real life. The next day, the first person Hideki met was Akko, and he was surprised to realize that Akko was a really cute girl. The surprise was not over when Akane suddenly appeared in front of the two of them, and the student council president of their school named Kyo also came here. As it turns out, Kyo is the mage who specializes in top-up apricot, and Akane is Schwein. Everyone then went into a pub together to introduce themselves, and in a nutshell, Kyo is a rich lady, Akane is a pretty popular girl who has many boys chasing after her, and Akko is not. She is a shy shy girl with no friends, but she is quite brave around Hideki. Before leaving, Hideki was very happy to meet his friends who played games with him in real life. However, Akane still asks him not to get too close to her at school, and that he will have to keep her gaming secret. The next day at school, Akko suddenly walked into their class and called Hideki by his in-game name Rujin, and told everyone in the class that Hideki was her husband. Upon seeing this, Akane asked the two of them to get out of the classroom to deal with each other, but Akko also talked to her and called her Schwine, so Akane panicked and dragged Akko outside to talk. Hideki along with Akane tried to explain to Akko that they didn't want it to be revealed that they were playing games with their classmates, and they also asked Akko to call them by their real names, not their real names. In-game account. However, after talking for a while, Akko still doesn't understand the problem, and she also thinks that she and Hideki are really married, so Akane and Hideki realize that Akko can't tell the difference between the game and reality. The two of them brought up Akko's problem to tell Kyo, and she decided to help Akko by organizing an online game club. Because according to her, when players and game characters are in the same place, maybe Akko will gradually distinguish the difference between the game and real life. When she learned that Akko was very close to Hideki, the homeroom teacher Saito asked him to help Akko more, because Akko used to not go to full school before, but since getting to know him, she has attended full school. Much more than before, their club held a boss hunt together, and Akane discovered that all the items in Kyo's chest were refills, so she forced Kyo to play with self-plowing. Kyo agreed to use normal items according to Akane's advice, but she was not used to using self-plowing goods, so she was quickly defeated by monsters. After playing for a while, Akane asked permission to go outside to go to the bathroom, and when she returned, Kyo changed a bunch of Akane's items and characters to tease her. After the game was over, Kyo informed everyone that their online game club was facing the risk of shutting down, because there are still no teachers who are willing to manage the club. The club was close to closing and Akko's problems were still unresolved, so Hideki went to Nekohime for advice, but Akko followed him, and she got jealous when she found out about her husband. Go see another woman. The next day, Akko didn't go to school like usual, and everyone was shocked to learn that she was planning to meet someone she knew in the game. Fearing that Akko would be taken advantage of by strangers in the game, Hideki quickly went to the place where they met, but the one she promised to meet was Teacher Saito. Turns out, after seeing Hideki meeting Nekohime, Akko followed her to talk to her, and Akko discovered that Nekohime was Teacher Saito. The extremely original Hideki realizes that he once proposed to his teacher in the game, and Saito also admits that she lied about being an U40 uncle. Akko is still bitter about how her teacher Saito hurt Hideki, so Akko pulls out something to attack her, but she quickly knocks Akko down, and it turns out that what Akko holds back is a toy healing staff. 
After everything was cleared up, Kyo forced teacher Saito to become the management teacher for their club, or else she would reveal Saito's identity as Nekohime to the other students. Kyo decided to celebrate their club's resumption by opening 100 lucky gift boxes, but everyone stopped her because she was always refilling money on crap. Akko felt very tired after being constantly harassed by her classmates because rumors of Akko and Hideki were in love had spread to her class, so people kept asking about their relationship, despite for Akko, who tried to isolate herself from those around her. Everyone in the club was discussing how to help Akko when suddenly Nanako, Akane's best friend, suddenly opened the door to go inside to find her, much to Akane's panic. Akane tried to explain to Nanako that she wasn't a member of this gaming club, but Nanako still saw the game they were playing. And after kicking Nanako out of the room, Akane almost lost her spirit, because her student life would be over if the whole school knew about her love of online games. The next day, Kyo and Akane were both busy doing their own thing, so Hideki and Akko had some alone time in the game. Suddenly they meet a new girl who has just started playing the game with the account named Set, and when she learns that she doesn't even know how to use basic skills, Hideki offers to teach her, making Akko feel very jealous. After that, Akane and Kyo also logged into the game to prepare with everyone to hunt monsters. Feeling tired of playing the same game all the time, Akko asked everyone to try a new game, and they decided to give Ultra Force a try. The next day in class, everyone was surprised to find out that Set was Nanako, and the one who was most shocked to learn this was Akane. Nanako hugged Hideki because he was dedicated to showing her how to play the game, and that caused Akko to get jealous and run out of the class. In the days that followed, Akko was no longer seen in class, and when he entered the game to talk to her, Hideki learned that she had decided not to go to school anymore, and that she would live in the world. Game forever. Hideki went to Akko's house to convince her to go back to school, and he met Akko's mother. Akko told her mother a lot about Hideki, and yet she treated Hideki like a future son-in-law, gave him the key to Akko's room, and told him to leave his future as well my daughter for him. As soon as I entered, I saw that Akko didn't have any equipment on her, so Hideki had to wait for her to finish preparing before coming in to talk properly. However, Hideki didn't say anything about studying and jumped into playing games with Akko. Then, Hideki pulled out Kyo's new laptop, and he logged into the game with Akko to bring her to meet everyone. Hideki pretended to tell teacher Saito that he also wanted to quit school to stay home and play games with Akko, and as expected, Akko strongly objected. Akko now understands everyone's anxiety about her, so she has to accept going back to school, and when she goes to school, Akko tries to learn to open up more to her classmates. After a while working with everyone in the online game club, Nanako has successfully leveled up and transformed into a new form, and she also has a new skill that is summoning a puppy. Extremely cute. Their semester exams were also coming up, so Kyo decided to shut down the online game club for a while, so everyone could focus their time on studying for the exam. However, Akko felt very sad when their club had to close down to study for exams, because the only purpose she went to school was to play games with everyone. Hideki is surprised to learn that Akko's grades have never been above the average, and that with such sloppiness, she will have to stay in class anyway. Back home, Hideki invited everyone to log into the game, but not to play, but so that everyone could help Akko study for the upcoming semester exam, despite Akko's vehement objections. Teaching in the game. The day of the semester exam has finally arrived, and thanks to everyone's efforts, Akko has successfully achieved an above-average score. After everyone dispersed, Hideki asked Akane and Kyo to advise him on how to confess to Akko, because Akko always thought that the two of them were husband and wife, but Hideki still hasn't really confessed to Akko. The next afternoon on his way home from school, Hideki asked Akko to be his lover, but she happily rejected him, breaking his little heart. Kyo and Saito organized a picnic for the online game club, and during this trip people will not be allowed to use technology, but all will have to participate in outdoor activities together. Kyo brought everyone to her house by the sea, and Saito was surprised when he first saw a house as big as a hotel. After a few hours of playing on the beach, everyone asked to go inside to rest, but Saito thought that they hadn't used up their youthful enthusiasm, so she forced them to have fun together. At the beach until evening. On the second day of summer camp, Kyo took everyone to a hotel affiliated with the Legendary Age game, and with the items they bought there, the game account would also give a corresponding item, so everyone was excited to spend their wallets on the hotel. Around noon that day, Hideki returned to her room to start playing Legendary Age with Akko, and Akko invited him to her room in the game. 
However, when Ako was confiding in Hideki, he suddenly had very strange behavior, even said offensive words to Ako, so she quickly realized that the person playing the game. This account is not Hideki. Meanwhile, Hideki was playing when suddenly he was logged out of the game, and after trying to log in again he still couldn't log back into the game. Everyone quickly realized that Hideki's game account had been hacked, and the hacker had stripped off all of his equipment and deleted Hideki's character. Hideki had to create a new character to access the game, and he enlisted the help of an old friend to help him find lost items. Saito also used her Nekohime account to call on her guild to support Hideki, and they found an account selling Hideki's items in the market. After a period of investigation, everyone learned that the hacker owns a website dedicated to trading rare items with real money, so they quickly thought of a way to deal with this hacker. They used a virtual account to trick the hacker into making a deal to trade in real money in-game items, and right when Hideki was doing the transaction with him, Kyo quickly reported it to the team. Admin team. The hacker didn't have time to recover because he didn't know what was going on. The admin announced that he would be permanently banned for buying and selling in-game items with real money, and after punishing the hacker, the team the admin team also restored Hideki's game account. After the storm passed, Hideki and Akko had a wedding ceremony in the game in front of everyone, and Hideki officially confessed to Akko. Kyo invited the girls to her house, and taking the opportunity, they also wanted Akko to get used to talking to people other than Hideki. Once inside the house, Kyo showed everyone her good game console making the girls extremely jealous. They spent the day studying together, and during dinner that night, Kyo offered to be sworn sisters with the other girls. Saito had informed everyone about their school's upcoming cultural festival, and they would have to present the club's achievements to the other students. Kyo suggested that they take advantage of the new version of Legendary Age, and that's where siege battles take place between guilds once a week. Together they will capture a castle in the game, and they will take a picture of their victory as a club achievement. They did a practice match in the game together before joining the siege battle. Since Kyo's current mage class is not suitable for PvP battles, she decided to create a new account. Everyone went to the Kong Tan Chian event area together, but when they saw the previous guild destroyed in an instant, everyone thought again. Only Kyo calmly commanded everyone to rush to the siege, and the result was still as if the guild was ahead of them. Soon after, Nekoheim's elite guards teamed up to capture the castle for her, but it wasn't long before the other guild defeated the castle. Feeling that just the four of them was not enough to capture a castle, Kyo invited Nanako to join the siege war event with everyone, and she also paid for the mercenary guild. The most powerful server comes to support. Bats, the leader of the mercenary guild, judged everyone's strength, and he devised a strategy to help Kyo's guild win their siege. However, Nanako did not like his arrogant attitude, and she felt that this man was not trustworthy at all. When approaching the enemy fortress, Bats ordered Akko and Nanako to run around the castle to attract enemy fire, and Akane and Hideki would rush to attack the castle gate when they weren't paying attention. But before they could do anything, the mercenary group slaughtered all the enemies in the city, making everyone surprised at their strength. Once inside the castle, Kyo broke the crystal on the throne and replaced it with their guild's crystal to prove his victory. Despite winning, the group of friends was not satisfied at all, because the game was too easy and it was no longer good. However, when they were lethargic, Bat sneaked and slaughtered all of them to retake the castle. His aim was simply to make Kyo and her gang mad, but Kyo calmly stated that she was wrong to trust him. Then they left without saying a word which made Bats feel really bored because he thought everyone would be mad at him. To get revenge on Bats and his mercenaries, Hideki proposed to form an alliance with Nekoheim's bodyguard, and they only had time to fight one last battle before the cultural festival began. Everyone gathered together with Nekoheim's bodyguard team to attack a castle together, and this time Kyo bought a robot to destroy the whole gate. Immediately after, their entire force hit the main gate, and the entire enemy force was quickly defeated. Their mission was to hold this castle for 20 minutes until the siege event ended, and as expected, Bats's mercenaries appeared to take over the castle. Kyo arranged everyone in a battle position, and the first team to go to battle was Akane's group. Although they were all easily defeated by the mercenaries' archers, Akane managed to defeat her before being defeated by Bats. Once inside, the mercenary guild was ambushed by Hideki's group, and they were able to defeat two more members of the mercenary guild, but Bats easily defeated the entire bodyguard team. By Nekohime. Another member of Bats's party stopped Hideki so Bats could continue inside, and the last person to confront him was Kyo. Bats confidently dashed forward to attack Kyo, but for some reason, she was unharmed by slashing, and outside Kyo was pressing the heal button. 
Realizing something was wrong, Bats called his friend to stun Kyo so that she couldn't heal anymore, but fortunately Akko jumped out of nowhere to block Kyo's attack. Right after that, the time of the siege war event also ended, and victory officially belonged to them. Bats wondered about the game hack Kyo had just used, and knowing that she had loaded 10 million into the game to buy a quick recovery potion, Bats couldn't help but be surprised. At the culture festival, the online game club showed a screenshot of their victory, and Akko was working as a waitress in her class cafe. At the end of the ceremony, Hideki and Akko were about to kiss when suddenly everyone appeared stopping them, and Saito banned them from any indecent behavior at school. Thank you for watching the full video review. I will leave other videos of the channel here, and don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell button to receive notifications of the latest videos.